Hey friends and any mamas who may have found this video. My name is Amber. I'm a first time mom. And today I'm going to talk to you about how I was able to clear my mastitis naturally and without any antibiotics. I felt compelled to make this video because I have so many mom friends around me who are also new moms. I have friends that are pregnant. I have just all the babies. So it's amazing and I love it. But if you're here, chances are it's because you have mastitis or you can feel it coming on. And I am sorry because I know how bad it hurts. I, it's, it was one of the worst pains. I remember telling my husband, I would rather give birth than deal with mastitis again. So it was that bad for me. Um, so I'll just go ahead and dive right in. The first thing I want you to know, ooh, bug. The first thing I want you to know is I'm not a medical professional, so obviously check with your doctor or your midwife before taking my advice, but this is what worked for me and I hope it works for you. Okay, first things first, nursing positions. So I had my clog on the side and this whole side of my breast was all red and inflamed, warm to the touch. I could feel my lymph nodes were swollen in my armpit. It was so painful. But what I did is I tried to switch up nursing positions. So what you want to do is point your baby's chin in whatever direction the clog is. So for me, I just had to do more of a football hold. Obviously, if your clog is at the top, that's going to be more difficult for you. And that's when I would recommend uh, dangle feeding. I also did this one. It looks like this. Um, so you'll be on all fours and you'll have your baby right beneath you. It's kind of tiring and I remember my arms started to shake but it definitely helped you just kind of let gravity work in your favor so um, switching up nursing positions first I would try that um, also massage so for massage I did a lot of the massage in the shower but if you're really engorged you want to make sure not to do a hot hot shower um, and you might want to skip the warm compresses but for me I did a warm shower. I did a circular massage all around my breasts and especially in that area. And I also would massage that area outside of the shower um, using, um, what did I use? I used, oh my gosh, castor oil. I used organic castor oil and that really helped just so there wasn't so much friction. So um, in the shower, warm shower massage outside of the shower. I use castor oil. You can also use something like coconut oil just so you don't have a lot of friction. And um, you can use a vibrator. You can use an electric toothbrush, the back of it. Um, and that vibration will just kind of help break things up. So what, whatever works for you. But some mamas just don't do well with a lot of um, heat on it because they tend to get more engorged, which is really the last thing you want, especially when those ducts are clogged. Um, you might be able to try cool compresses. I know that does work for some mamas or switch back and forth. So massage, definitely, definitely do massage. Also supplements. Supplements I used were the legendary milk sunflower lecithin. So what this does is it helps to loosen those fatty clogs. What happens is the milk gets really sticky and this helps to kind of lubricate everything and to get it moving again. So I took this as directed and then you can do daily maintenance with it as well. The next thing that I used were these little tiny pills. They're small but mighty. They're these little homeopathic pills. You can get these at your local health food store and you can get them on Amazon as well. I will link those in the description and just take them as directed. I think I actually may have taken an extra serving of these every night and I took them sublingually under the tongue and I really felt like these guys really helped and I had never heard of them before definitely get these. It's called Fido Laca. Okay. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite hacks is the Epsom salt and Haka hack. I'm sure you've heard of it before. And if you haven't, it's going to change your life. So what you do is you fill up your Haka with warm water. Um, I fill it like 
almost up to here and I did about two tablespoons. I would kind of eyeball it, but I'd say it was about two tablespoons worth of Epsom salt. Pour it in there, mix it up, um, and then attach it to your breast. And then I would make sure that my nipple would touch the water. And then I would kind of just like move it around while it was attached. So I could, until I could see the clog coming out, you can see it when it's, you'll see it start to pull everything out. It's amazing. I'll even do this when I start to feel like my milk flow is slowing, um, just keeps everything nice and clear. So even when I don't have mastitis, I'll still do this. So I felt like that was really, really helpful. Um, and you can do it a couple times until you start to feel like some relief and you should, I felt like almost immediate relief with this. Um, another thing that I did was let's see. Oh, so similar to like the vibration is I would just take my hand and I would just kind of move my boob around, kind of shake it. Um, similar to that of like a vibration feeling. So I just felt like that really helped to like loosen everything. It feels, your boob feels stiff and it feels hard. And that just kind of like broke it up for me. Um, and I just repeated these things. I had to deal with it probably at least three days. Mine got to the point where I did have a fever. And on one of the days I was just so lethargic and tired. So obviously you want to take good care of your immune system. Um, I took some vitamins. I'm going to leave those out though. You can do your own research on your own vitamins. Um, but I stayed up on my vitamins that help support my immune system. I rested when I could, obviously that's hard with a newborn. And, um, yeah, that was, that was my routine. I hope that this helps you. I hope you find some relief because I know how bad it hurts. Uh, if you find that this video was helpful. I just ask that you give it a thumbs up and pass it along to your girlfriend. Any mamas who might be expecting because it's it's rough once you're once you're in it. But good luck. The breastfeeding journey is absolutely amazing. It's such an incredible bonding experience between mama and baby, but it certainly doesn't come without its challenges. So, good luck out there mamas and take care.